welcome to my channel my name is Tiffany I have a dog actually I have two dogs they were too embarrassed to come on camera with me today because I need my hair done yeah they need grooming they haven't been groomed since like January or February. In the meantime, I have been giving them baths. I actually bought one of these because I thought I was going to be a master groomer overnight. Yeah, that didn't work. But in the meantime, I used that. I've been combing them, gave them a bath. Use this little tool, brush, and with all that, they still get mats. So, I thought, I thought about something one of my groomers told me. She said to use cornstarch. Yeah, cornstarch. And it really works now I don't even pick up the comb without having cornstarch no. so take a moment and take a look and see how I use cornstarch to comb out my dog's mats and in the meantime please leave a comment and tell me how do you take care of your dog or how did you take care of your dog during quarantine when the groomers were closed and please remember to like and subscribe to my channel So yeah, when you start this, you want to be outside because using the cornstarch and along with dog fur, it gets a little messy. And also make sure you have on some old clothes. I have on my old 20 year old shirt and some old shorts. And then of course you have to have a dog. And for this part, I um, started off showing you her right ear. Her left ear was the worst. And I wanted to show you that, but that video ended up a little blurry. So I went ahead to show you the right ear. I was much closer to the camera. So hopefully you can see better. And then yes, you grab your cornstarch and just sprinkle the cornstarch on the mat and make sure that the mat is coated with the cornstarch. And then after you add the cornstarch, you grab your comb. I usually start out with the comb first. No reason, it's just me. And I always use the white tooth end of the comb because I just think the smaller end will just be torture until you get all the mats out and then maybe you can try it, but you know. So you start at the bottom. Always start when you start combing out at the bottom because you don't want to just go into the mat right in the middle of it. That could be painful for her. So um, yeah, start from the bottom and just comb on your way up. Work your way up. And just be gentle as you come into the mat. And to make it a little bit more easier on her, I use my left hand to just hold her ear taut. So that when I'm combing her hair is not jerking back and forth or anything. Then I ran it to another mat and then you can always add more cornstarch on when you come into other mats as well. And she had a couple of them in the ears. And with long haired dogs it's important. I said dogs. I always do that. The long haired, haired dogs, I don't know why I throw in a New York accent. I'm not even from New York. But anyway, with long haired dogs, um, God, I forgot what I was going to say. With long haired dogs, it's important that you keep them combed out regularly. I'm kind of guilty of not doing that, unfortunately. But as long as they get combed regularly, the everyday thing, I don't know how realistic that is, but, um, just try to comb them out often to avoid mats. It's been rough with the quarantine here with me. I've given them baths and tried to comb them out, but they haven't been groomed since January, as I said before. 
so yeah this tool here is the I think it's called a dematter I'm not really certain of its official name I will put it in the description box of what it what it is but that thing works wonders and the only bad thing about it is what I showed you right there is that um you see how I'm combing awkwardly my arms are like backwards I wish you could adjust the comb so that it will be I guess ergonomically correct when you're combing because it is kind of difficult when you comb backwards as I am but um other than that that tool works wonders I that's the two things that I don't like combing them out combing them out without are that the D matter and the cornstarch if I don't have those around nope I'm not even going to try it And then yeah once you finish with the D matter or whatever the official name of that is then you can get the comb and then once again you start from the bottom and work your way up she's such a good girl now with her combing I remember when she was a puppy it was like World War three four five and six but now with regular combing she has gotten used to it and she's also an old dog now and so you just keep combing through sometimes you get other mats and when you do you just add more cornstarch and then just continue to comb through it until it's out now at one point before I learned this trick I would just cut out the mats and then their hair was looking like who shot John. So it does end up looking much better when you're able to comb out the mats and, and then she doesn't have like a few long pieces and then one little short piece sticking out like alfalfa. So yeah I find it best to go ahead and take the time to comb them out. They look better I think in my opinion. holding her close. I moved away from the ear now. I'm doing the rest of her. And so it does get pretty easy and yeah I'm on the inside of her ear now. You do both sides of the ear. Any other part and you can't do both sides but yeah just do both sides and make sure all the mats are out. And that was one that I just pulled out there and once you use those tools they do come out pretty easily and that's it she's such a good, she's girl. A good girl a good girl and then this is the video that I was telling you about earlier this is her left side this is the one that I was going to originally use but um, the picture's kind of blurry and I was further away so I just put it here if you want to take a look at it you can if not fast forward but, um, that side was pretty bad but the cornstarch and the dematter they saved the day so yeah it's pretty much the same as what I did with her right side Again, start from the bottom, add cornstarch, use the comb, use the dematter. And just comb through gently. And then once you do all that, her ears are good to go. There's more mats coming out. Sometimes I just get comb happy. <laughs> and then she gets happy because she feels better. I get comb happy and I just start combing and combing even though I'm done. Combing the inside there. More mats. Like I said, that side was pretty bad.
and then like I said before make sure you wear old clothes because then you will get cornstarch stuck my shorts are full of cornstarch the deck is full of cornstarch my shoes my shirt has cornstarch and dog fur so make sure you put on something that will allow you something that you can just throw right in the washing machine right away thank you That's it.